Modern Family star Sarah Hyland has tweeted a message that's guaranteed to make fans of the comedy feel really old. The 25-year-old actress, who is best known for her role as Haley Dunphy on the ABC sitcom, tweeted that the kids on the show are now all grown up. Hyland started on the show back in 2009 and has received several accolades for the role. After joking around with her co-star Nolan Gould, she tweeted, It's official. All the kids on Pound Sign Modern Family are the same age as when I started the show. 18. Can't make fun of me for being old anymore. The actress stars alongside Ed O'Neill who plays Jay Pritchett, Sofia Vergara, Gloria Pritchett, Julie Bowen, Claire Dunphy, Ty Burrell, Phil Dunphy, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, Mitchell Pritchett, Eric Stone Street, Cameron Tucker, Ariel Winter, Alex Dunphy, Nolan Gould, Luke Dunphy, and Rico Rodriguez, Manny Delgado, in the award-winning series. As well as Modern Family, Highland is also known for her roles in the films Struck by Lightning, 2012, Scary Movie 5, 2013, Vampire Academy, 2014, and the latest, 2016 film Xoxo. In the later she plays Crystal, alongside the good wife star Graham Phillips. At last year's Teen Choice Awards the Modern Family star, dressed in a gold jumpsuit and dangerously high heels, stumbled as she made her way onto the stage, which was bad enough. But then she also forgot that she had cameras capturing her every move, and accidentally dropped the F word. Are you F asterisk asterisk king kidding me? Sarah shouted while throwing her arms in the air. I asked Claire what she wanted for Mother's Day and she said, take a hike. <laughs> it's not like that. She's, she's just bananas for walking around in nature. Um, so she and, and Gloria are taking the kids up the canyon and Jay and I are uh, throwing on the aprons and preparing a Mother's Day feast. It's, it's going to be fun. We're not doing that. <clears throat> so proud. They offered me a bouquet, Mitchell. Which you accepted. Why can't you ever take my side? They think of me as a woman. Cam, no, come on. We're just a new type of family. You know, they don't have the right vocabulary for us yet. They need one of us to be the mom. So why does it have to be me? Do I wear a dress? Well, that's a nightshirt. It's kind of satiny. What are you saying? Come on, you know. No, 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 I don't know. All right, if, if, I, if I'm thinking about it, uh, of the two of us, if, if, if I had to pick, I, I, I might say that you're slightly mommer. Excuse me, can you throw that ball? Can I throw a ball? You don't... You don't think I can yeah. throw a ball? No, no, no. What he said. No, apparently this gentleman doesn't think I can throw a ball. Well, that's not what he said. You don't think I can throw a ball? Well, let's find out! Oh, oh God, he looks old. Oh, oh sorry! Can't, hand. Sorry! There you go. Cancer. With 32 million patients worldwide, it's something nearly every family faces. So it's important to know about research advancements like immuno-oncology or I.O. Which aim to help improve survival and quality of life for patients like my mom who beat cancer twice. And Mrs. Green. Her daughter moved in when she was diagnosed. Like Ryan, his brother has cancer. Immuno-oncology research strives to harness the body's own immune system to help fight cancer. Join the movement. Ready, Raise, Rise. Visit readyraiserise.com to raise and share a flag for a loved one, raise money for patient groups, and learn more about IO research. 737, getting the family together for Christmas, always a challenge. 
When you finally do, what does that typical gathering look like in 21st century Britain? Seems any traditional picture we might have is now a thing of the past. The growing divorce rate, new types of relationships mm. mean more of us will be spending time with stepchildren, possibly with new partners. One family, the Millers, have been telling us how they're going to spend their Christmas morning. I'm Susie Miller. This is my daughter Sydney, my son Joseph and Henry. And this is Chris, my ex-partner. Hi, I'm Chris. These are my lovely children. This is Jaden, and this is my lovely wife Marilyn. We like to uh, spend Christmas morning all together with the children, with opening the presents and make everything lovely. The key was really, for me, was that Marilyn as a new bonus mum, made a real effort. Henry, I want to see some vegetables with that meat, please. No. All right, yes. It was kind of magic, really, how we just all got along so well, and it was always really natural between me and the children. It wasn't like I had, we had to try, you know what I mean? <laughs> Being thoughtful for each other and, and standing up for each other. We've always supported each other and, um, and helped each other around the children. That has made it actually relatively easy to have a really good relationship. It's cool to have a bonus mum because you get more presents at Christmas and then if you're really annoyed with your mum or dad, you can go to her. I think society's view of family is very out of date. I would like people to have more contact with, the, with, with a wider range of, of families. It should be more normal to have families where you don't feel sorry for someone because they're a single parent and you don't feel sorry for them because they haven't got a traditional family structure. I think we need a fundamental attitude change. So with us now, Dr. Catherine Rake from the Family and Parenting Institute and Rosie Corriette, who is a mother spending Christmas with her new stepfamily and her new six-month-old baby. So that's, you know, an example of a kind of new, broken up, put back together, blended family, isn't yes, it? very much. You can't get much more blended than we are. No, so just take us through what, you know, how you organise all of that. Because it's a sensitive time, isn't it? It is, and you have to remember you have two traditions. You have the children's traditions, the three boys, the stinkies, as they're known, <laughs> and you have my partner's traditions, and you have mine, and we're coming together for a first family Christmas. And you just need to planning and talking. You have to talk. You have to, you have to listen to what everyone has to say and, and not everybody always gets their way. But it, 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 is, it is a conversation and, um, and, and sometimes you have to strike the balance and it, it does work. Mm. And I'll tell you what I'm thinking, looking at this, this is Baby Boo, yes, this isn't is it? Boo. Baby as, who is five, five months old? On Christmas Eve, yes. Oh really. Now when you have a very young child, a baby in this case, often your mind is quite focused on that. So you, I mean you've, you've done, gone some way to make sure things work out for everyone. Yes. But sometimes you want mm. to be a bit selfish. I mean, you want it, you've got a new baby, you want it to be a bit special. So, you know, it takes a bit of doing that to make sure everyone is happy. Yes, definitely. I'm just really lucky. The um, Stinkies, the boys, they absolutely love Boo. Um, she loves them and, and it, it works well. Mm. Um, it, it is hard sometimes and you just want to, you know, you just want to play with her and listen to her coo and, you know, but someone's got to listen to, you know, someone's got to read or you've got to go to a production or something. Mm. But, you know, if we weren't blended, it would just be nature. So it is second nature. Yeah. Um, Dr. Catherine Rake, these types of families are on the increase. Absolutely. I don't know why I say these types of families. <laughs> like it's like an odd sort of family. I'm in one of these types of families. I mean, you know, it just is normal now to, to sort of negotiate Christmas Day, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, we see the families coming in a huge variety of different forms, um, all their wonderful um, and complicated and messy reality. And I think um, what you illustrate so brilliantly is actually if you go into it as an adult thinking you've got to negotiate, got to work your way around it, actually you can have a good family Christmas. It might not be the Disney image of the 2.4 children but actually that's not the reality for most of us so we've got to put that to one side um, and actually celebrate what we do have. Do you think it is it always healthy I mean you're saying put things to one side 
Is it always healthy to try and forget? Because uh, what can happen sometimes is you, yep. you can have a bad, you know, some situations are awkward and difficult. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the reality of Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Is it always a good thing to say, oh, it's Christmas, let's forget about it? Or is there a danger that you can kind of falsely create it? So let's all get together and, that, you know, the atmosphere can be a bit like, is it going to kick off or not? And is that a healthy <laughs> thing to do? I mean, my goodness, yes, but that happens to all families, doesn't well, that's it? True. It can kick off in yeah. any sort of family. But if there's been particular think, issues during the year... Oh, absolutely, which... and I think every family has to find its own solution. Yeah. And it can be a very painful time at Christmas mm. as well, because I think that, you know, that image of what a family should be yes. can be very, very powerful. And, and people, people can, can feel, feel left out Yeah, people not. can feel left out, they can feel bad, they can feel guilty. I suppose one of the realities of family life is it always has been messy, and there have always been things that people haven't been very happy about with their families as well as many things that they want to celebrate and so I think we've got to actually be realistic about where we are and find the best in that. Mm. And Rosie, this time last year at Christmas, um, Boo wasn't here and was it very different for you? Did you have a very different sort of Christmas? Yes, um, I had a, a lovely adult Christmas. <laughs> there was convenience food, <laughs> a, a planned Chinese and there was champagne, and there was just the two of us. And we, you know, hopped in the car to see the respective families in the afternoon. Um, and as I, I, I've said previously, I couldn't, it couldn't be further from that. Does Boo not like Chinese then? No, I, I don't, I don't <laughs> think she problem? likes Chinese. I think, we're, I think um, she wants to go traditional this year. So I am, um, I'm doing it all. All of the, of the big turkey. Well, well have a great day. Luck. And she is absolutely She's beautiful. Lovely. Thank you. Um, Catherine, thank you very much indeed, Rosie. Thank you both. And thank you, Boo. Oh, just doing a little, little bit of sick bit there. Of, yeah. Just to see us out <laughs> We won't of the do item. the cutaway for that one. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Perfect timing. <laughs> Happy Christmas to you all. Let's have a look at the Christmassy weather.